Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to be making the reloading system. Also we're going to be making some ammunition and making the player use the ammunition. It's going to be a very quick, very basic. We just want to get the foundation here so we can uh, play with it later. Before we get started in our weapon script, in our weapon prefab, the item script, we set the ammo to be float. We need to change that to be a integer and that this will be max ammo. And now this is set up. Let's go back to our gun script, the one that we used last time, of course. And let's create a new integer. It will be called current ammo. And we, al we also need a float for reload speed. Now, whenever we start the game, we want the player to have some ammo. So we're going to go in our start function and we're going to say current ammo equals to database dot weapons we want to give it the id variable dot max ammo so whenever we start the game the our current ammo is going to get set to the max ammo that we set in our game controller right here so let me just change max ammo to 20 on each gun and now in our shoot function we just have to go and say current ammo minus minus they're just going to decrease it for one. I'll just make this current ammo variable serializable so we can see it in uh, the um, inspector. If we enter the game or pick up a gun and if we take a look at our gun script we can see that we, our current ammo is 20. If we shoot it goes down. If we hold it also goes down. That's actually perfect but now we just need the reloading function. A very simple way is just to reload whenever ammo is zero. Implementing a function that will be triggered every time you press R and then it reloads is a bit harder and we might do that later. This is just to get uh, this simple thing working. So we're going to check if current ammo is less or equal to zero. So we don't have any more ammo. We're going to go ahead and set the current ammo to be equal to database dot weapons we're going to give it the ID dot max ammo much cleaner way of doing this and uh, this might be a better way to do it actually is to just copy this code from our if statement delete it and then just go down and create a new function that will be called reload and then have it in here like this and then just call the reload function right here let's go ahead and try this out it should go ahead and reload it for us and there we go it's back to 20 now here if we reload we'll still be able to shoot right here so if we're reloading we'll still be able to shoot a simple way to fix this is just to go return here and whenever it comes to this point, it's just going to go back for this frame and then it's going to come back the next frame. So if our current ammo is less or equal to zero, we're not able to shoot. Now we just want to implement the reload time that we had before. Uh, I just want to set it to a number. It'll be one for now. And down here, instead of using a void, we can use a uh, I enumerator, which we used before, I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure. And this allows us to go ahead and say yield return new wait for seconds and then we're going to give it the reload speed or the reload time whatever basically what this means is that it's going to trigger this method then it's going to wait for the reload speed amount which is one for now and then it's going to give it some ammo and up here this reload method right here is not going to go uh, it's not going to work anymore we have to go start coroutine reload and just type it out like this so if i go ahead and shoot this last bullet you can see that it waits a second and it, and then it reloads this is great for whenever we're going to be adding our reload animation or we'll make maybe we'll make it in unity but for this episode we basically can now shoot get to zero ammo reload and get back to shooting now of course this needs a lot of work, we need to add 
some kind of uh, magazine storage or ammo storage so we can actually run out of ammo and we also need to create a uh, create the reload function whenever we press the R button but for now just to understand how this all works so we can move on uh, in the next episode this will be great so hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully it helped you if it did be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe you can share this with your friends you can go follow me on social media there's links to that in the description and hopefully i'll see you next time bye bye